Okay, so first of all, uh, yeah, let's start with you, Nick. Yeah, welcome to the historical and the famous and the medieval city of Gondor. Uh, let me introduce my name again. My name is Hagos, Hagos, which means joy or happy. So I'm the happiest one, thanks to my lord. <laughs> yeah. So before we proceed about the history of each castle, let's say about the highlight of Gondor. You know, Gondor is established or founded by Emperor Facilitas. Facilitas, he was the founder of Gondor, and he founded Gondor in the year 1636. He founded it at the third permanent capital city of Ethiopia, next to Aksumir Lalibela, before the power, and moved to Addis Ababa in the 19th century because of Emperor Menelik II, the one who defeated the Italians at the Battle of Ad at the Victory of Adwa, before he moved his capital in the 19th century to Addis Ababa, to the uh, youngest capital city of Ethiopia at this time, before moved to Ga Addis, Ganda was everything. Ganda, the last 250 years old, Ganda was the center of calligraphy, cross-making, theology, painting, architecture, both secular as well as religious music for flourishing Gonda. It was used as a political center, economic and social center for the <coughs> Solomonic dynasty, next to Aksum and Lalibela. Even it was a center of grammar school, law school, uh, many things, iron smelting, cross making, calligraphy, literature was established in the medieval time in the 17th and 18th century here in Gonda. So we call it in short, Gonda was a center of excellency. It was everything in here. And you know what, what are the reasons why Emperor Facilitas, why he came to Gonda, the emperor? He had three major reasons to come to Gonda. The first reason is that Gonda was free from malaria, even we don't have malaria this time. Because of very high altitude, the average altitude of Gondor is 2,260 meters above sea level. It had temperate climate, very jungle, forested area, green area, very mountainous. But his father, because he came from Bahardar, Bahardar is found at the southern tip of Lake Tana, which is 185 kilometers far from Gondor. It takes three hours surface road. But on the northern side, on the other side of Barda, there is Lake Tana. In Lake Tana, on the bank of Lake Tana, there is another palace, Gorgora Palace, which is by Emperor Sicinius in the medieval time as his palace, his father's palace. It's located like 1,700 meters like Barda. So it's hot. There is malaria mosquito there. So in Lake Tana, in Gorgora Palace, where his father lived there around four years, and his palace there, there is so many malaria at that time. So a lot of people died because of malaria. The main reason why he came to Gondor, because Gondor was free from malaria. That's the main reason. And the second reason why he chose Gondor, the Emperor Fasid that because of two fresh rivers. Gondor is in dot with two fresh rivers. One is called Angara. From this river, you will see it from your hotel. There is, we made an artificial dam, a man-made dam, like 20 years ago. So we get tap water, drink water for Gondor from this dam. We'll see it when we drive to the church. And the second time, there is another river by the second name, River Kaha. Every year, the swimming pool, the path of King Facilitas, once in a year we celebrate Epiphania, Tumkat, to commemorate the baptism of Jesus Christ. One Jesus bath in the of John the Baptist in the Jordan River, to remember that we do it in a colorful way here in Gonda, but it's celebrated all over the country, very historical and very colorful here in Gonda. We go to that place, we'll see it. So, because a pool is filled from that nearby river, every year there is 1,000 meters, there is a canal, a kind of sluice gate where a water is coming from the river directly to the pool because of water. And the third reason is that, you know, Rome is founded on a seven hill because of two brother kings, the capital of Italy, Rome, Roman Empire. Rome is founded on a seven hill because two brothers, Remus and Remulus, are they were raised by the wolf because the mother died, so they were raped by the wolf. So the same to that, Gondor is founded on a seven hill. To the north, east and west, there is a chain of mountain, big mountain, to the airport. On the way to Bahada, a very flat plain area. 
being a mountainous area, the emperor is so the place as a strategic position, very defensive tower, a strategic position. But it's nature, a mountain can't give us a barrier to the enemies because of that strategic position, it was Gondor. And thanks to temperate climate, Gondor can grow different kind of cereal crops. Gone at the end of the 16th century, 1-6, or at the beginning of the 17th century, 1-7. Gondor is at the main trading route, long distance trader, caravan merchants. When they arrive Gondor, they is gone at the dry port. One trading going to uh, border town with Sweden called Metama, and they reach uh, like uh, there is we call Nubia, what we call present-day Sudan, and they reach as far as Egypt to the land of the eagle. Mm -hmm. well, the other route which is going from Gondor, they cross it to Dapark, which is a gateway for Simi Mountain National Park, mm -hmm. one of the World Heritage Sites, which is 100 kilometer, and there is the most dramatic road called Limalimo, the western escarpment of the Simi Mountain National Park, a most dramatic road, zigzag road which is very full of like a waterfall, natural waterfall, and many like the baboons, different birds. So they crossed that one, the gorge of that uh, dramatic road, Lima Limo, which is the western escarpment, Simi Mountain National Park, and they, gorge, they crossed the gorge of Tekazi River, one of the tributary river. When it joined to outside Ethiopia, it's called Atbara, you know. So they would join to Nile, to the longest river in the world. Then they reach the town of Aksum and Adwa. Then they branch it out. One they cross to the port of Aduli, the then town, the main port of the Aksumite civilization, a port of Zela, Tajura, or a port of Masawa, which is in the present day Eritrea. Because of that, they use Gondor as the dry port. They call it Gondor, a metropolis of commerce. These are the major reasons. The first one, free from malaria. Second, water. Third, because of mountain, very strong position. And the others, like trading route, and also, it had very temperate climate, very favorable climate to grow different kind of cereal crops. These are the major reasons why Emperor facilitators he came to Gondor and he tried to build his own castle and many impressive buildings. When we come to this compound, we call this compound a royal enclosure, a royal compound. It's a castle compound. It has 70,000 square meter or approximately 7 hectares. Within the 7 hectares would be the six beautiful castles built by six different kings, different times. And at the six part, we'll see a lion cage, a symbol, an archive, a library, many impressive buildings, so on. So another six beautiful castles, the oldest and the most impressive castle, which is built by Emperor Fasila, the founder of Gondor, at that one. That's the main icon of Gondor. It has 30 meters up from the ground, with an area of 25 meters, with 25 meters, with a four-story palace. The first story has three different rooms. Uh, I mean, the grand one, when we start, it has more than 20 different rooms. It's a huge dining hall. There is a wine cellar for making honey wine, honey me tech, the one it in Fort Sister. They use try fermentation biotech for making honey wine from organic honey, honey meat. It's in long tradition of fermentation of biotechnology. And there is a butcher house for preserve meat in a traditional way to cool water and different beverages. And Reis Majesty in Praia Selassie, the last king of Ethiopia in 960, the ground part used as a local court for the local people in here. Because Haile Selassie was no, he had no palace in Gonda. His palace was in Addis. To go to Addis Ababa, that time it takes 748 kilometers. So it takes one month to go there. So the local people, there is no any car that time. Transportation means. So that time it takes them one month to go there on foot, walking. So. Uh, that time, during uh, my Jesse in Palace last year, the ground part used by a local court, uh, by the local people here. And when we come to the second story, it has three different rooms. The first one served a reception room, what we call today modern salon. And the second, a dining hall for the king. And the next room is a dining hall for the queen. For some time, because of influence from Muslim, uh, the king and the queen, the eight separate. But they knew that that's not their real culture. That's not their forefathers' culture. They stop and now eat, used to eat together. Even we do it this time. When we have wedding, Christian wedding, we just eat together, we just have everything. But a Muslim, when they have wedding this time even, they are not eating together. After they make a wedding tent, they ate separately. They made a party not to see each other or some occasions. But a Christian, we simply sit together. Like as the, the apostles, they sit together with Jesus Christ to their Lord. Yeah, like sometimes we make it like a round table, these things. And the third story is like as a, ch as a prayer room, like as a chapel room. When you see round the castle, you can see such conical tower, 
we call this conical tower a castle. Actually, it's not made from egg because the shape it looks like half egg structure because that's what we call a castle and this is typical of the Gondran architectural style we couldn't find other than we got from Ethiopia this is typical of the Gondran architectural style what they build these things in four days that just to hold support as maintaining as a support and after build that they use for two purpose we go inside the first one served that window as a guard room to protect the kill from his enemy stand the night actively and there are three windows three times for run there are 12 windows they symbolize the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ in front of each window they prayer within and outside this compound he built seven churches he built two churches in this compound St. Mary Church St. George the five churches are built outside this compound so he never went to the church like the ordinary people they do not die because he was king of kings, elect of God, chosen by God. So he had his own priestess as well as deacon inside his palace. It's like as a church, as a monastery, as a palace, everything. So he never went to the church like mixing to the ordinary people that time because he was a king, he's a lord that time. Because people they associate, they taught him the king like God that time. And when we come to the fourth story, you can see because there is a juniper pine tree, there is a second small balcony from the top, from the very right side, there is a small balcony, that was the bedroom of the king. And the last tower with the flag floor, that's the battlement semi-square tower, which is the watching tower. From that watch tower, the emperor, he can see as far as he can, he can see with the panoramic view of the Lake Tana, the biggest lake in Ethiopia. Even to see the monasteries, which are very close to Gonda, on the northern side, on the bank of Lake Tana, which is 65 kilometers from the direction of Gorgora to his father's palace. Where it's like. So, and to see if enemies are coming from different areas, oh, an enemy is coming this way. So to defend themselves, they prepare themselves by watching them from that tower. If in case, if one of the guests, his excellence come in one of the, oh, his excellence is coming to this area. So to have a warm welcome reception, they just prepare themselves in this compound. That's the use of the tower. When you see in front of the main castle, you can see wooden balcony. And the second one, for the shop of the crown, we call it proclamation window. When there was a proclamation, the emperor sat on his proclamation shoulder there. What we call the mouth of the king, the spokesperson, uh, mouth of the king. He stand the big balcony there. And the people they got in front of the main castle, in the facade. Whenever the king says something to his people, he will repeat what the king says, like in the form of echo, like a speaker. And he address all day to the subject of the king in here. Because they have to talk one hour or half an hour. He has said too much because there was a matter of protocol or status. Because of that, that goes responsible all day to the subject of the king here. And to be the big castle, the main castle, it took them 15 years, one five, which is the oldest and the main castle, having 400 years old. And to build all this castle, the church, and many impressive buildings, the U4 locally produced raw material, which is not imported outside, a local mat from this region. Want to make arch for the door, for the window. They use such a red volcanic tuff. It looks like brick like structure, very light. We can chisel out. So they use such a red volcanic tuff, like this brick like, we call like, uh, like Lalibella kind of stone this we carve out from the rocky churches. So we call Lalibela like Petra, like Petra of Jordan, one of the seven wonders of the world. Lalibela is the eighth wonders of the world. But for us, it should be in one of the seven world heritage sites, you know. Uh, I say world heritage site, it should be one of the seven uh, wonders of the world. And uh, so, they use this red volcanic the red is light we can chisel we can give different shape and the second they use african ebony black african wood like mahogany rosewood grow in the tropical regions very strong wood and the third they use volcanic stone basaltic stone which has come out from volcanic eruption many year, million years ago volcano erupted any tip that's why in east africa there is a big mountains like kilimanjaro mount keru kenya like rustic mountain uh, we have different kinds of uh, mountain peaks more than having 4,000 meter above sea level. Ethiopia is the roof of Africa uh, uh, because uh, even the Great Rift Valley passed through Ethiopia, many African countries, around 15 countries, uh, start from Mozambique to uh, end up in Dead Sea. Yeah. So uh, they use this uh, uh, volcanic stone. We don't have cement that time, 400 years ago. And instead of cement, they use cement uh, to plaster to fix the stones. Uh, they use lime mortar, calcium carbonate, 
and they burned to the ground seven up to eight years. It undergo different chemical reaction. And they took that one just to plot to fix the stone. What we use this time made to attach the stone or to the wood. They use such uh, lime mortar. Even this for locally produced from us, they build all this castle and many impressive building. Who build them? We say Ethiopians have built all these things. This is an indigenous Ethiopian civilization, which is continue what we have from the past, from the rock hewn church of uh, Lali, from uh, the Aksumai uh, palace. The Aksumai, they have a very sophisticated and a big, very uh, sophisticated palace before and after the birth of Jesus Christ because of inside and outside war everything's collapsed this time different King Izana King Caleb they have King Rem they have different palace very huge palace even no one is comparable in Europe this time that time and Rokyu in Church of Lalibela, Rokyu in Church of Tigra, even we have the first historical capital city of Ethiopia a pre axumite civilization Yeha a temple of the moon everything the continuity from that not inherited from somewhere. It's indigenous Ethiopian African civilization. And so there was the best engineer by the name Raswell de Georgis. Ras is given next to the king, the one who held the highest position in the country, meaning like King Mecca. Mm -hmm. uh, and well, Raswell de Georgis means like uh, a son of like Saint George. Yeah, you know, they have the different biblical names, like religious names, but all they have a servant of or a slave of God. Mm. And also there was a base engine, uh, I mean designed by the name Gabra Christos. Gabra means slave. Christos means like Christ, a slave of Christ. So very indigenous, very uh, beautiful indigenous African civilization, Ethiopian civilization, not inherited from out. Some they say like, oh, it had an influence from outside, like Portuguese, Moorish, they say like that, but not that one. Even they say Lalibela is built by, they say, are they say by the Knight Templar, by the Freemason? No. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and when you come to here, there is a ruined building you can see here. It's covered, it's connected that building. We call it Rainbow Castle, like rainbow, an arch ceiling. Mm -hmm. And the whole compile, you know, the ancient city Jericho in the Bible, Jericho had a wall. To the same to that, we had this compact fortified wall, having an uh, an, an, a, a radius of 900 meter. This compact fortified. We do have 12 gate round to symbol the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ. A main gate that we are coming is called the gate of the judge. The match during the time of the king, they enter through that gate. And there is a second gate, the gate of the king, the imperial gate, where the king's history and not from this compound. There was a big tower. It was destroyed by the war. When they are coming from the gate of the king, the principal, the imperial gate, they use this rainbow castle as the main entrance, and they go to the big castle. When the king's soldiers, when they won a battle, the king gives a different title, different reward for his troops, soldiers in here. When his big official dignitaries, the nobles, when they came here, before they met him, the king, directly, before they go inside the main castle, they waited him, being used this list as a kind of waiting room, as a waiting list. Because there is a, pro a, a protocol, you know. They shouldn't run, you know, to find the king. There is steps, you know, a hierarchy. So it was covered. All the castles were destroyed because of two different war. One, because the Derbys, the Sukhulamari people from Sudan, neighboring country, they came, mostly they burned it for teacher, for Dero, and some they attacked this castle. But a majority destruction, it came from the bridge at bombardment. Because the Italians, once after they lost at the Battle of Adwa, they came for the second time just to colonize Ethiopia. During their five year occupational period, from 936 up to 941, that's the Second World War, the Italian general by the name General Nasi, he used this compound for his military base headquarters. So, when the Italian, when they were asked to leave from Ethiopia, and that time, his Majid Prime Selassie went to London. In London, he delivered his beautiful speech at the League of Nations, what we call today, United Nations. And when he spoke uh, at Geneva in Switzerland, that Ethiopia had, uh, you know, the Italian had done an aggression, you know, to Ethiopia. Because of that, uh, the British pretending helping Ethiopia, they came from Eritrea, Kenya, Sudan with their British general, General Sanford Cohen Wigget, what we could present today. Uh, Somalia, it's divided straight, French Somalia, Italian Somalia, Britain Somalia, the British, they lifted the British Air Force, so as to the Italian, to evacuate the British, they came with plane, and they bombed the five castles, and many impressive building. Actually, they did it intentionally, because they don't want to see palace out of England. They go to uh, Scotland, Ireland, they destroy castles in Germany as well. 
not to help us. They should use other means instead of to help us, you know, that time. If they want to try, if they try to help Ethiopia, they should use other means. Even our fourth, this, as soon as they turned the left up from the, the compound, the British came and they bonded it. So now we go to the second palace. Whenever you have any kind of question, you just raise and asking me. I have a question. Okay. Maybe you said it, I missed it, but what are the beads that they get on top of the... Uh, the beads like the side, like the battlements sometimes, they used to defend like they, uh, you know, they put the cannons there mm -hmm. and they had themselves and like defending, like a fortress, a kind of fortress. Yeah. And, and, and I want you to show me the prayer room when you get to it. Yeah, okay. the prayer room is in the top. You see the conical tower? Yes, close one, the windows are closed. There are three windows each. Uh, conical towers, three times four, round 12. The symbol of 12 apostles in front of each window, in front of he built church. In front of his treasure, he built St. Mary Church. In front of his square, he built St. Michael Church. And Saint, uh, uh, there is a St. Abuna Gabriel and Fasquitos. I will show you in the painting. In front of the square he built, there is a Church of Christ. 